Staying alive is a full-time business in every ecosystem. At sea, hiding is more difficult than on land, so the weak exploit the strong to stay alive. The deadly tentacles of jellyfish provide an effective shield. Pilot fish are spared because they serve as a good bait for their predator host. Easy pickings by themselves, the fish turn their weakness into tactical advantage both for themselves and for their guardian angel. The oceans are full of symbiotic relationships. Tropical lagoons yield endless variations on the same theme. Here, coral reefs form one of the planet's richest and most complex ecosystems and produce all kinds of matchmaking. What would dare hide in a bed of needles? Sea urchins don't seem to profit from the multitude of tiny fish that befriend them, but the relationship has not been fully explained. Fish, needles, tentacles, these are just some of the living weapons desperately courted for survival. Some animals even resort to chemical weapons for protection. Cnidaria are part of a large family of organisms that include sea anemones and corals. Their poisonous tentacles sting anything that floats by. The clownfish is immune to the sea anemone and it's willing to do a deal. To seduce its host, the clownfish brushes gently against it. The fish's scales contain a mucus which changes chemical composition on contact with the anemone. In effect, the fish slowly vaccinates itself against the poison. Soon, it plunges right in. But it must keep to the deal. If it leaves for too long or chooses another host, it will lose its immunity. With a deal struck, the clownfish now serves as both bait and maid for the anemone. The fish cleans its partner's orifice, which acts as both mouth and anus. Stranger still, a boxer crab armed with a miniature anemone on both claws. While the crab snacks, flakes of food fall to the anemones. So what advantage does the crab gain? the intimate protection of the anemones. They may be small, but they sting like a bee. Intrude on a crab's territory and expect no mercy. A boxer crab with a good pair of gloves can take on far bigger predators. anemones are expert negotiators. Here's one living on a hermit crab.
Not content with an empty shell for protection, the aggressive and territorial hermit crab seeks a live deterrent against competitors and predators. In return, the anemone will feed on the crab's leftovers. What happens when the hermit crab outgrows its shell? It must find a larger one. How does the hermit crab persuade the anemone to jump ship? It signals with a tactile code. Gentle stroking encourages the anemone to release its suckers from its pedestal. guides its friend back on top of its new home. Chemical weapons are traded far and wide in the marine world. The sea slug dresses up in bright colors that signal to predators that it's poisonous. A shrimp hops aboard to travel under the slug's protection. The shrimp even adopts the slug's color and blends in like a chameleon. Taking full advantage of a safe ride, the shrimp feeds along the way. The shrimp's part of the bargain is to rid the sea slug of tiny parasites. Protection in exchange for spring cleaning suits the shrimp well. Shrimps befriend some of the biggest carnivores in the lagoon. Performing oral hygiene on a moray eel beggars belief, especially if the patient is temperamental. The oceans of the world are governed by the uncompromising laws of a food chain. But there are well-defined areas where the weak and the strong meet in peace. This is an unlikely paradise where hammerheads and other large predators gather simply to be cleaned by small fry like wrasses. They feed on the parasites of their seniors. Sometimes there's even a queue for the beauty parlor. The cleaners leave no orifice untended dusting up unsightly larvae and mucus on the host's skin. Customers invite attention by keeping their gills and mouths open. Remoras appear strange to the human eye with suckers on their heads. but they've evolved this way to cling to a very special host. Sharks tow them wherever they go. The remoras are very tenacious. 
Though they're perfectly able to find their own dinner, they prefer to scrounge off the sharks, scavenging their food and feeding on their parasites. Free food and a safe ride. Remoras also bond with rays. They're born white to blend in with their host. Every species of remora hires its own driver. Remoras are more than just cleaners, they're garbage collectors. They love to rummage through the ray's excrement for choice tidbits. The anus is also a good place to hide from predators. Protection, cleaning, feeding. A contract for survival in the deep. <laughs> 